Hey, 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 all you out there surfing the YouTubes, this is Pastulio's Rage coming at you with episode 23 of Pastulio Does Vanilla Minecraft, and, well, I kind of fell off the grid there a little bit, I guess, uh, for a little while. I just, um, you know, life was happening, and I wanted to make videos, but, you know, some things had to be taken care of, you know, work had to be dealt with. Uh, stuff at home had to be dealt with, so unfortunately I didn't have a whole lot of time to make videos. I do apologize to everybody, especially to uh, Sandy. Uh, yes, I got your tweet, Sandy, and yes, I'm sorry that I didn't haven't been making videos lately. So hopefully this more than makes up for my absence, because I have something cool to show you guys. And at the end of the last episode, you'll notice that we ran out of stone, and I couldn't continue work on my you know my love shack back there. <laughs> You know, so I was going to do some mining off camera, but then I just, like I said, uh, some life happened. I really couldn't get around to it, so uh, I figured in this episode I'd show you what I was working on after I kind of had uh, some downtime, and I kind of started playing, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to make a video right after I finish this up, and well, let me go show you, let's show you what I've been doing here, okay, let me pop up my hood here, and okay. Uh, re remember, uh, I don't know if any of you guys read the comments, but a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Hawkeye, uh, told me that it would be an awesome idea to, to make something in here in the in the giant, you know, ravine that's not so giant. We'll call it the Little Big Ravine. <laughs> I should get a sign that says, Welcome to the Little Big Ravine. But also, I made some steps. Made it a little bit more easily accessible. Yep. Very nice, very nice. But also, I uh, also have it to where, yep, I have stairs lead up, and oh, it looks like someone's living here. Ah, uh, yes. Can we enter your domain, sir? Ah, get out of my way. You're just a chicken. <laughs> Anyway, check this out. Yep, I decided to build, a, uh, so I'm going to be building some houses into the side of the cliff, and I wanted it to look as, you know, you know man-made as possible. You know, kind of like, like uh, you know, like ancient people came through here and just carved into these, you know, like the ancient Indians or whatnot, and they just carved into the side of these, you know, these uh, cliffs and whatnot and made houses, you know, and... Uh, Essentially, the, the way that everything works it out is that I'm going to kind of, like, this is like my nature preserve, right? And whenever the sun would, f you know, would come in here in the mornings, it would warm the, you know, the areas up. So the Indians would be nice and warm. And at night, it would retain that heat. And during the winter, it would hold the heat in. But it, in the summertime, it would keep the heat, you know, it, it would help retain the cool air, like down in here. See? Like, oh, yeah, a little history lesson for you there. Kind of nifty. Yeah, this is the storage room. And this is going to be like the living area, I guess you could say, like a living room. There's going to be a kitchenette sort of thing right through here. It's going to be pretty simple. And this is the bedroom right here. I wanted to keep it as natural looking as possible. So I want to be making a few more of these. And while I'm making these today, I figured I would make one of these guys on camera for you just to kind of show you what I've kind of been up to. And this is a good way for me to harvest some stone. So why don't I go ahead and get started uh, carving out where I'm going to be putting the next one. And uh, that's going to be kind of boring, you know, I don't want you guys to sit there and watch me, you know, chipping away at a, a rock face. So I'll bring you guys back after I have some progress, okay? Stay tuned. And bada bing, just like that, guys, we're uh, pretty much done with this one. I just uh, have to make the bedroom out. Uh, I didn't want you guys to really watch me do all that carving, but you can see I kind of came from here. And, you know, we kind of put this sort of... Uh, a spin on it, so you know, I don't want every you know door facing the same way or whatnot. You know, we got this nice bay window here. We got these tiny little windows, but check it out here. So you come in, you go down, have their own little different basement. I don't want them all to look the same. I don't want them to be like all cookie cutter and whatnot. But you know what? I like it so far. So let's go ahead and uh, while you're while I, ha while I have you guys here, I'll go ahead and do the bedroom. Some ideas right about. Oh, say it right, right here. I'm feeling the sweet spot right here. This is the way I do bedrooms. I come in about two here, and I make... Oh, got some lag. Oh. Okay, here we go. A little bit of lag there. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. We're not going to make this a humongoid bedroom. It's just going to be, you know, kind of a modest bedroom. Who knows? Maybe I might even make another one. But, oh, yep, good thing I brought more pickaxes. Okay. So anyway, uh, while I was uh, pretty much indisposed at the time, uh, I was dealing with a couple of things that uh, were kind of near and dear to my heart. I was uh, in. I, I just uh, joined the Arizona Ghostbusters, so now I'm finally official. <laughs> and now we're going to be doing like a charity events and whatnot, which would be you know a whole lot of fun. 
and I was trying to figure out the best way to, you know, because they, they, they want everybody's uniforms to look the same, so I had to find a bunch of, you know, like, dyes and whatnot, and I got to make sure my boots fit properly, you know, the whole nine yards, because the, the thing is, when, when you do these events, they uh, they require you to wear, wear, you know, your costume for extended lengths of time, so I went to uh, Walmart, and I got all the stuff that I needed, but then I was thinking, my girlfriend kind of brought this up, and I thought it was kind of an interesting to say, is like, uh, for, all, for all you uh, people that uh, are in a foreign country or whatnot, like, say, the UK or whatnot, what what is your guys' equivalent to, like, a Walmart, whereas a Walmart store here, you know, we, c we can get our, you know, our groceries, our, you know, clothing, hardware stuff, I mean, you can get stuff for your pet, I mean, it's kind of an all, you know, one-stop shop, and, you know, I mean, what, what, what do you guys have in, uh, in other parts of the world, you know, just, like, let me know down in the comment section, I'd like to see, you know, hear what you guys have to say, because I just thought it was really interesting, because I know that, I guess in some parts of the UK, uh, you guys have Safeway stores and whatnot, which I think is, like, you know, hilarious, because, uh, yeah, we have Safeways here in America, which is, you know, really nifty, but... What do you guys think? You think this uh, this bedroom looks nice enough? I might get the coal out of the floor here, but I'm not sure about that yet. But you know, so far, I mean, this, this looks like a nice little bedroom here. Why don't we? Uh, why not? Uh, just kind of thinking. Huh. You know, maybe we can make like a pseudo bathroom or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But mostly, I just wanted to carve these all out first, and yeah, I'll I'll see if I can uh, replace all these you know little areas because I like I like the idea that it looks like it's been you know, just kind of place there. Okay, let's see here. Oh, not again. Okay, sorry about that, guys. No, okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can replace all this right here. All right, boom, boom, boom. All right. Everything is looking good. It's looking fine. But, I mean, that is a kind of a nifty question, isn't it? You know, it's like, what do you guys do in your, you know, neck of the woods? I mean... Where do you shop? Where's one of your favorite places to shop? You know, I remember when I was a kid, uh, going to a little little store where I grew up in, you know, near Silver City, and it was actually called, uh, oh, it was uh, the Membres Mercantile. This uh, little store, I mean, you could buy anything there. You could get a fishing license. You could get a, uh, you know, you know, bait. You could get a hunting license. I mean, you can get essentially anything you needed. You know, if you decided to go hunting or something, you could definitely find everything you need. You know, except for your guns and whatnot, because, uh, you know, they, they, they sold everything at the store. And I'll never forget, um, for the longest time, I never knew what the store was called, but uh, I knew one of the ladies that worked there. And the funny thing about her is that she was this elderly lady, and also it was the only place in town that you could actually mail letters to. That was the other thing that I thought was actually kind of interesting is because it was a post office as well as a place for you to, you know, grab some stuff. It was actually pretty crazy. You know, I just remember uh, going there and I was always able to get one ice cream whenever I'd go with my grandfather. If I went with my grandma, I was able to get a soda, so I knew that no matter what happened, I was going to get a sweet, which was, uh, you know, freaking sweet if you think about it. <laughs> so... I mean, do you guys have a, you know, uh, have stories like that? I mean, just, you know, let me know down in the comment section. Like I said, I'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to say, because if you have, like, a really cool story, I mean, I always tell you guys stories, and maybe you should tell me one or two. And uh, also, uh, for all you people that entered the contest and won, that's right, everybody, uh, I've only gotten two of you that uh, have given me your addresses so far. So uh, don't forget, if you, ha if, uh, you got a, p a personal message from me at dogcraft.net, uh, don't forget to personal message me back with your address information so I can send you your Pustulio's Creeper wristband, or else you're not going to get it. <laughs> so anyways, uh, this, uh, this looks like, you know, like a really good place to wrap up this episode, just kind of show you guys some of the stuff I will be working on a little bit later. Uh, this is how I'm going to harvest all my stones, so I don't think you guys want to watch me do this for hours on end, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this video up here at the bottom of the little big ravine, or the butt crack as I called it in one episode. <laughs> so, 
Anyway, guys, this is Bustulio's Rage signing off on episode 23. Hope you guys enjoyed the Gila Cliff Dwelling episode. If you did, go ahead and leave me a like. If you didn't, tell me why. Leave me a dislike and tell me why in the comment section. Tell me why you didn't like it and tell me how to improve on it. Because don't forget, guys, it's the only way I'm going to get better is by you guys being brutally honest. And remember, funny trolling is always accepted. But real trolling, you're probably, you know, some sort of sociopath. So, anyway, guys... Basilius Rage, signing off, episode 23. And also don't forget to uh, follow me on Twitter, because, you know, I do have a few more followers on Twitter. And uh, I will make sure everybody knows when this episode comes out. So anyways, guys, I'll give you a cobblestone high five and a laters.